Hey guys, I just want to take a moment and talk about a game that I recently recently got. It's called Bound by Flame. And I just want to do a quick impression review, basically. The story of Bound by Flame is compelling and it's deep. It's this good versus bad with a lot of gray area. You have this demon who wants to consume you and you, do you want to keep your humanity? You've given all these choices to this game and it's just delivered through this narrative. The only downside is that the characters, the NPCs, they're not, there's not enough life in them, man. I sometimes feel broken from the story that I just want to deeply love and then just pour it's just poorly delivered to me and that's you gotta battle through that to really enjoy the game and that's alright because it's so easy to just be entranced by the game simply from the gameplay mechanics to the combat and the crafting and the story, it all just meshes together and del is delivered in this way that makes you just really enjoy the game. To put it simply, the gameplay of Bound by Flames is a lot of fun. You basically switch between three different styles of combat. You have a two-handed longsword, slow swings, uh, block, or two daggers, which are swift movements. It's all about dodging and attacking in rapid succession. And then you also have your demon side, magic of flames it's basically all about flame magic which is really intuitive how you could switch between each of the three roles at whim the game also has a crafting system which you can upgrade your weapons with materials throughout the game and it's deep to say the least i haven't even gone deep into as deep as you can into the crafting system there's plenty of side quests to do, plenty of story missions to do. The game just knows how to keep you involved and invested into it. And that's why I just love the game and that's why it's so entertaining to me. In the end, Bound by Flame reimagines a classic action RPG game with its intuitive combat system to its deep crafting system. Bound by Flame leaves surprises throughout that make you want to keep on coming back to the game. I highly recommend this game. If you enjoyed this uh, review of Bound by Flame, go ahead and smack that like button, leave a comment down below, and also don't forget to subscribe to your homie, Sinister Dragon. Peace out, y'all. There's a couple things that I wanted to get out right away. Um, a lot of the critics we're bagging on it because it's not an open world game. All right, first off, it was never advertised as an open world game. Now, off the bat, one might compare this to Skyrim or as you see more closely to Fable, which are open world games. But to me, I feel like this game more closely resembles Boulder's Gate or Champions of Norath. You basically have a main quest, some side stories, but 
the maps are linear. There's no stripe paths. You know, the dungeons are there. You go in dungeon, do your quest. It It's a very linear game. I will admit that. And quite frankly, I enjoyed it. 